That's the look. It's definitely getting to the mullet phase. Hi guys, today's video is a little makeup video. I wanted to show you which brands of makeup I used recently when I went on the Extra Factor. My brother co-hosts the show and they invited me on as a sort of family guest panel member. I was really pleased with how it turned out. I was a little bit nervous that the non-toxic alternatives weren't going to sort of hold up under all the lights in the TV studio, but I actually feel like they did really well. So yeah, I thought I'd talk you through um, what I used and how I used it. I've definitely reduced the amount of makeup that I wear on a daily basis. I've become far more comfortable in my own skin and don't really feel the need to put on a full face of makeup before I leave the house every day, which is something that I used to do. It was very much part of my getting ready routine. And because of that, the makeup that I do choose, even if it is in plastic packaging, definitely lasts a lot longer. So I feel like I'm not going through as much of it, especially compared to what I used to go through. First up, foundation. This is by a brand called 100% Pure. I really like this brand and I've been using them for around two and a half years now. So they actually sent me this for free to try out. Um, but I've been eyeing it up anyway. They are a brand that I really like, so I've already got a lot of products by them. I like that it comes in a glass bottle for a start. I'll put it on. It's a very lightweight foundation. So this is a fruit pigmented water foundation in cream. And it feels very sort of moisturizing as well. It glides on really easily. Up next, concealer. I'm still going with this one, which I got ages ago by My Essence. A really lovely um, organic brand. They're an Australian brand actually, but I get them from a UK website called beautifullyorganic.co.uk. I just sort of dab it on wherever I've got a little bit of redness or a little blemish or whatever, and it has lasted for ages. Eyeshadow. These are still going strong. They're both by 100% pure. I've got their greyish one and their brownish one. The names of them have actually scratched off because had them quite a while. I'm going to start off with the brown one there and then blend in some of the black afterwards. So that's the brown. Now onto the black. It's not really black, it's more of a gunpowdery grey colour. I'm just going to smudge that in a little bit. Cool, I think that's mostly done. We can neaten that up in a little bit. I haven't much luck with the battery today or the card. Both just ran out, so I've made a little swap. YouTube. Up next, we've got 100% pure liquid eyeliner. And I've been looking for a liquid eyeliner for a while. A little brush. And I found this really easy to apply. Like, honestly, in the past, using liquid eyeliners have been a real risk factor because it could go wrong so easily. And I've used this probably about four or five times now. This was another product that they sent me for free. Um, I chose. Put a little bit of that on, you can see. Here we go. Okay, that's kind of it done. I could spend more time and try and be a lot neater with it, but because I know I'm going to go over it with a coal liner, I can kind of just smudge out any imperfections. This is a coal eyeliner, like a pencil eyeliner from 100% Pure again. I've had this for quite some time. I use it a lot, but it lasts really well. This is probably one of my favorite makeup products. I do like a bit of eyeliner, even if it's just a tiny bit in a smudge. I feel like I look like I've made more of an effort than I actually have. I'm just gonna smudge this over and then blend it a little bit. So that's the top lid done, and then I'm gonna go underneath. I'm weirdly having deja vu right now. It's slightly strange. I feel like I've dreamt this. Exciting dreams. <laughs> so then I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for my eyeshadow and just kind of smudge over the eyeliner a little bit. Up next, we're going to do a little bit of mascara. No surprises, it's the 100% pure um, black mascara. Oh, there's a little bit of plastic left on there. Their products do turn up with a bit of plastic over them. I would prefer it if they didn't, and I think there's still a little bit of room for improvement when it comes to the packaging. But I do feel like they've made a big effort when it comes to a lot of their packaging. And I did a little feedback form online the other day after I purchased some of uh, the other items from them, and I did mention that it would be great to see an alternative to the plastic comes on some of their products. Because I'm not buying this that often, I'm probably going through one mascara a year at the moment. Maybe it might even last a bit longer than that. So yeah, it's one of my favorite products along with the Coal eyeliner. I love the two of them. They were 
both very early switches for me and I've stuck with them and if it ain't broke these guys are based in America and I get that it's a shame that I have to buy non-toxic makeup from a completely different country but I've spent many hours looking for products that work as well as these uh, that are based in the UK and I just haven't found them as yet. As I mentioned before in my non-toxic makeup favourites video, I don't have very long lashes at all. I think they're probably slightly stunted, if anything, but this mascara does really bring them out. I think it is a lengthening mascara, isn't it? Is that what it says? Ultra lengthening, yeah. It really does add something. Face powder. This one is by My Essence and it's in fair. It doesn't contain any titanium dioxide. I've been using this for about two and a half years as well. So I'm just going to rub that everywhere to remove any shine. Something like this is a great way of building up another layer and just mattifying everything, especially under any bright light. Eyebrows. Oh yeah, we're having dance. Until very, very, very recently, in fact two weeks ago, I'd never even really thought to do much with my eyebrows. I grew up with my mum telling me that I had very handsome eyebrows and I believed her. But I do know under TV lights I think it's good to have a little something on there just to stop them fading into oblivion. So I did buy a product from 100% Pure called Long Last Brows. It comes in a little glass jar. It did actually come with this brush as well, which at first I was like, oh, I don't need another brush. But then it's actually proven to be really useful because it's designed exactly for this product. And I don't know what I would have done without that actually. <laughs> so I'm actually really pleased that that turned up with it. I'm using this end just to put a bit of a product on there and then use it just to define my eyebrows slightly, I guess. Um, this is all very new to me. And then I just use this end to like brush it out, make sure we're all going in the same direction, guys. So this is one of the newer products from 100% Pure. It's their Lip Cream Stick. And I thought that this would double up as a lip liner. And also I really like the colour. And I tried it as a whole lip colour, not just as a liner. And I was like, gosh, this is really nice. Perfect Naked Mauve. Let's keep it moving. So you can see this would work well as a lip liner and then I could put another colour inside and it would just stop that inner colour bleeding out into the rest of my face. It's definitely a long lasting product. I didn't need to reapply it once actually, so I'm really pleased with that. So I've been using this one for a while, which is called Poppy and it's a kind of quite a punchy red colour. I really like it. I do feel like with these ones, you definitely need a lip liner because I noticed it did start to kind of go into the creases around my mouth. I tried the other day, it was this one called Cactus Bloom. And it's like a matte lipstick. The colour is kind of orangey red, I want to say. Um, it's really nice. I haven't actually had a chance to wear it out and about just yet because it only arrived a few days ago. And yeah, I'm just really impressed with this one for the moment. This is kind of my go-to lip colour. I used to use a bit of bronzer. I had one by 100% Pure. It was really good, but I broke it. Also, I'm a natural blusher. I blush really easily and have a natural sort of rosiness, which I think still comes through a lot of makeup. So I don't feel the need to put too much on my cheeks because I kind of know that they're going to do the work for me. If I do feel like I need to put anything on, I kind of just use the brown eyeshadow that I've got from 100% Pure. I just dab this brush into it and put a little bit on the cheekbones. To all my fellow blushers out there, you will understand what I mean. It'll just burn through the makeup. That's as close as I'm gonna get to contouring, guys. So there you go, that's the makeup that I used to go on TV the other day. It looked like I was just wearing regular, conventional makeup, but I know that it's non-toxic, clean ingredients, and that I'm supporting brands that are really making an effort to do things in a better way. So I was genuinely thrilled with that because it was a little bit risky and you're never quite sure under the bright lights and everything whether something's going to hold up as well as you hope it will. Now let's take this out to see what's happened. <laughs> so, what is going on? Okay, it's doing that now, fine, we'll roll with that. If you wanna check out any of the products that I've mentioned, I will put them in the description box below, as well as um, some links to stuff about titanium dioxide. I know it's something I mentioned quite a lot, but I feel like, just in case this is the first video that you see on my channel and you haven't seen any previous ones, it's just something that I look to avoid when I'm looking for uh, makeup 
products and beauty products as well. And as I mentioned before, I was sent two products for free. It's a brand I already use. I was just really thrilled to be sent a couple of items to kind of review and I wasn't under any obligation to say positive things about them but I do genuinely think that they are excellent products and I would definitely purchase both of these items again when I run out. If I need something with a bit more coverage than this because it is very natural and light and it's like having a second skin and I use this one by My Essence called their translucent foundation in vanilla which has worked really well i've been using this for about two years as well and it's the first foundation i found without titanium dioxide in it so if you guys have got a favorite non-toxic beauty product or makeup product that you're really excited about and want to share pop it in the comments below it's always really interesting to find out what other people have discovered or found that works really well for them also if you liked this video please hit the thumbs up and if you haven't already then please consider subscribing thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one guys that eyebrow, such a ham.